Okay, let's see an example of how to expand a logarithmic expression using the logarithm laws. So in this problem, the first thing we see is division. So I'm going to split this log into two logs separated by subtraction. And the things that are separated by subtraction are the things on top minus the things on the bottom. So I've got x squared y here, and I have z times the fourth root of x plus y. So it's just simply taking the log of the top minus the log of the bottom. Now I'm going to work on expanding each of these separately. So the first one, I have multiplication inside, so I'm going to expand that using addition. And then I'll expand this one using addition again. But I have to make sure since it's subtraction, I have to subtract the entire addition. So I'm going to have log of one thing plus log of another thing. Right? So the x squared is going to go here and the y is going to go here. So log base 2 of x squared plus log base 2 of y minus log of the z plus log of the fourth root. So let's create a little more room here. Okay, and now I need to see if I can expand these further. Um, for example, the 2 inside the logarithm, I can drop down to the front of this logarithm. So I get 2 log base 2 of x only. Nothing I can do with the y. I could drop the parentheses if I want to. Um, minus log, sorry, I forgot my log base 2's here. Log base 2 of z. I can drop the parentheses there. And the fourth root, I should rewrite using an exponent. So it would be x plus y to the 1 fourth power. And now, I can, since I've rewritten this as an exponent, I can drop this exponent to the front. So I get 2 log base 2 of x plus log base 2 of y. Let's go ahead and distribute our negative as well. So minus log base 2 of z minus 1 fourth times log base 2 of x plus y. And so let's examine. I can't do anything further inside any of these logarithms. x, y, and z. There's nothing I can do with those, so I can't expand those any further. Here I have x plus y, but I can't expand this because when I want to expand a logarithm, the complexity inside decreases. So if I'm looking at addition and the order of operations and I want to decrease its complexity, there's nothing simpler than addition, nothing below addition. <coughs> also, the reason for that is because none of our logarithm laws deal with addition inside a log. So we can't expand this one any further and we're done. Now let's observe a couple things. Notice that the x squared and the y are on top and at the end both of those logarithms ended up being positive. The z and the fourth root were on the bottom and in the end both of those logarithms were negative. Now that makes sense because the ones on top are multiplied and the ones on bottom you're dividing by each of those. So Multiplication is addition, so those are both positive. Division changes to subtraction, and you're dividing by both of these, so that changes to subtraction of both of those. So once you get good at this, you'll start to see that you can typically jump from the very beginning to the very end pretty quickly. But I don't recommend that until you practice the entire procedure for a while and get very comfortable with these logarithm laws.